What is this Pepsi ran a commercial? contest in the Philippines that, that killed five. killing five people. Oh. The Pepsi commercial. I'm. The, 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 there we go. The Pepsi commercial that killed five people. In 1992, Pepsi ran a contest in the Philippines that ended up killing five people. The contest was called was Number Fever, and the idea was Chicken? simple. Every evening, the news would reveal a winning number. So you can drink the most Pepsi or something? And if you had a Pepsi bottle cap with that number, you won a million pesos. Okay. Now, a million pesos in 1992 was life-changing for the average Filipino. Sounds like a so lot. So this contest became very popular. A million of anything's a bit. And this is where things went terribly wrong. You see, throughout the contest, Pepsi was in complete control of how many winners there were. Mm -hmm. They relied on a computer program to seed two winning caps into bottling plants. Two winning caps meant that there could only okay. be two winners, and yep. Pepsi would stay within their budget. But something went wrong after they extended the contest. The computer program glitched, causing some numbers to be mixed up. And on May 25th, 1992, at 6 p.m., the Channel 2 Evening News Wait, called Wait, so did the they have like more than two winners? So they sent hitmen out to get rid of the people who won so they didn't have to pay them or something? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Pepsi to do that. Wow, Pepsi exploited people in extreme poverty, in extreme poverty for profit? Yeah, it's hard to believe a massive corporation would do that. Winning number 349. And while there were only supposed to be two winners, hundreds of thousands of Filipinos began to celebrate. Let's go. You see, 349 was already designated as a non they definitely like number. And because of this, committed mass genocide so they wouldn't have to pay to him, print right? that number as much as they wanted. This resulted in over 600,000 349 caps circulating in the Philippines. 600,000? was such a common cap wait 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 so there's six hundred thousand and how much one million pesos how much is that roughly so about 50 grand so back then what that 19 something this happened 1980 or 1990 somewhere on there so we can just say roughly maybe about seventy thousand dollars eighty thousand after inflation and whatnot so six hundred thousand people won that much money let me pull up a calculator. I can't do I can't do anything besides two digit numbers in my head. Six hundred thousand. What was it? Six hundred thousand times about eighty gram, we'll say. So that was Whoa. <laughs> that's not millions, that's billions. Forty so they they had to <laughs> they were gonna have to shill out about fifty billion dollars in prizes. Many people had more than one. Jesus Christ. That night, the streets They're were They're going to fund the entirety of the Philippines with rich, that much money. And could finally stop I'd say they probably could afford it, money. Hundreds of people rushed to the Pepsi factory hold on, hold on. with their winning. I want to see, what is Pepsi's daily income? Annual revenue was $79 billion. So in a, they would have to sh uh, give out what they make in about a year. Eh, it probably hurt their it their pockets a bit, shut down you know. And guarded it'd by make them make the them have a couple knots and crying in the shower, but they had messed up big time. It'd help other people. Pepsi so. executives had a meeting in the middle of the night to try and come up with a solution. <laughs> it would have cost them tens of billions of dollars to honor each winning cap. So instead, they put the blame on the computer and uh, offered five hundred pesos for each computer. winning cap. computer. Now, 500 pesos was only around $18. This was 0.05% of the original price. <laughs> so they and started some... paying them 18 bucks a piece? Oh, oh God. Some took them up on this offer. Most refused and became even more angry. Yeah, they should they become angry. It's not their fault. Error. It's Pepsi's Pepsi fault. Pepsi was a multi Own up to your mistakes. Corporation. Did no one tell in you that when you were eyes, little? They had you make to a mistake, own up amount. to it. Honor but it. Pepsi didn't budge. You made the deal. violent protest and riots broke out, <laughs> ultimately leaving five people dead and Ooh, dozens injured. So that's injured. how people died. 349 winners stormed the Pepsi I thought, factory. Uh, this is not how I envisioned this going. I thought that this was going to be like a... You know, five people died because Pepsi had like a drinking contest and whoever drunk the most won money. And then it turns out drinking a bunch of Pepsi is lethal. But this is a complete 180. They promised to give people money, then they didn't give people money. So rightfully so, people got mad to the point where they started rotting.
Pepsi's throwing Can't Molotov not cocktails deserved. into the windows I mean, Pepsi and buying Pepsi did trucks this. that they drove are, they're by. The reason this happened. Over the Coalition 349 was a group of winners that took legal action against the company. Mm. They elected a local preacher named Del Fierro surely, as the leader. He surely the legal action, like, they're gonna have to get a bunch of money out of Pepsi, because Pepsi made the deal. They can't go back on it after making the, the sweepstake or whatever. So if they would have just went legal, the legal route, surely, like, the people would have got a bunch of money, right? Like, there's no way for Pepsi to, like, weasel their way out of it. Can we keep this Pepsi fail train going with a, that Tom Pepsi promised to give away a Harrier, a Harrier jet? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I didn't, I watched that, yeah. Ended up over 800 349 winners in an attempt to sue Pepsi for over 400 million dollars. That's just now, a fraction the chaos of what they owed continued them. well into 1993, <laughs> at which point a new twist in the story started circulating. Old newspaper headlines suggested that Pepsi was somehow responsible for bombing their own trucks. Oh, These but headlines inside were based conspiracy. on a testimony from a police officer. He alleged that in order to paint Coalition 349 as terrorist and damage their position in court, Pepsi hmm. hired mercenaries to infiltrate these groups and cause the riots. Oh. More testimonies surfaced of people claiming Dude. that Pepsi had paid them to start trouble and cause mayhem. Dude! My theory was right. They messed up and they didn't want to pay out the money, the millions or billions that they owed. So they practically hired hitmen, mercenaries, pretty much the same thing. They hired people to go out and wreak havoc and like, so people wouldn't have to be paid the money they're due. I called it. Pepsi lawyer quickly denied the allegations, <laughs> and that was basically the end. Yeah, of it. obviously they're going to deny the allegations. The court but I'm going to believe that over you know nine Pepsi any other story. This was a huge win for Coalition Three. You think a massive company like Pe Pepsi is going to want to pay out that much money in the for their own months, mistake? Almost no. all of the civil suits and criminal complaints were tossed out of it's court, ridiculous. and in 2006, the court officially closed the book on all of the remaining court cases. Dang. They found that Pepsi had not been negligent in the Number Fever disaster. They were negligent. When it was all said and done. Pepsi only had to pay one small fine of 150,000 pesos. Oh my Many God. That all they had to pay out in the end was 150,000 pesos for their own mistake. This is their own mistake. Why do they not have to deal with it, you know? Make Pinos them clean who up experienced everything. experienced number fever God. are still traumatized to this day. Yeah, Even they mentioning the word are. Pepsi around certain groups is frowned upon. Pepsi was recently asked for their response to the number fever Pepsi's disaster. Full of a bunch of and they came out with this statement. These events took place Holy almost Lickers. 30 years ago, and none of the executives familiar with this program are at PepsiCo anymore. We deeply regret any pain and suffering our mistake caused. I guarantee you anyone who was involved with that big uh, Pepsi contest in the Philippines, they had to have been drinking absurd amounts of glue to just try to go back on it and not own up to it. Bunch of glue drinkers in that corporation on the, you know, the people at the top of the chain. Or they really like to eat crayons. Why do people not trust big corporations? Exactly. Why would you not trust them? Well, Pepsi will the do anything to not have to own up to their own mistakes. That was the moral of that story. So what did you say now? Watch the Pepsi, uh, the Tom Pepsi promise to give away a Harrier jet. That Tom this Pepsi promise to give away a Harrier jet and the hilarity that Stitcher. ensued. Well, it's a free pop. Definitely didn't there skip that ad. Back in the halcyon days of 1995, Pepsi launched their aptly titled Drink Pepsi Get Stuff campaign. That you remember the commercial? To earn points I don't. on every Pepsi product they bought and then exchanged them for things like Pepsi branded t shirts and hats. The promotion was a roaring success and resulted in nothing of note happening whatsoever. Unless, of course, you count the guy who sued them because they refused to exchange 7 million Pepsi points for a Harrier jet. The man <laughs> in question was John Leonard's, and in the later months of 1995, man, this guy he was the Pepsi TV Point billionaire. Pepsi stuff man had enough Pepsi for points to buy a Harrier jet. In watching the advertisement, it essentially shows a teen on his way to school highlighting items one can buy with Pepsi points. Pepsi Point so, Kingpin Pepsi here. T-shirt for 75 points, a leather jacket for 1450 okay. points, etc. The book, The Law Point system. Typically, the these these point system things are typically rigged to where you can't get like the major prize, right? Like, or it's at least absurdly hard. So, how did this man get enough points to get the the Harrier Jet reward? And and why was that a reward? <laughs> Just to make it look 
like a epic promotion, like an epic uh, little deal they're running. As you just saw right there, I'm stumbling over my words a bit, having a bit of brain freeze. I sound like I've been drinking glue for the past 12 years, which isn't exactly wrong, but I just wanted to hop in here and add some extra commentary just to get my thoughts across more clearly on this topic because I feel like my reaction to this video during the live stream wasn't exactly up to par to how I wanted it to be. And that's the beauty of only having a handful of viewers when I'm live. A bunch of people won't see me make this mistake, and more people will see the corrected version on the YouTube channel. So the first thing I wanted to add on is to this point system thing. I wanted to bring up that I have seen point systems like this before with like Doritos, Mountain Dew, etc. Where they run these little promotions that allow you to rack up points and get gear slash swag. But I just wanted to make it really clear, and that's what I was trying to say during the stream. But I just didn't, because I'm a goofy goober, you know? I eat at Super Weenie Hut Jr. What can I say? <laughs> to three young boys sitting in front if you're going to offer it, at least, you know, the boy have the Harrier jet ready. On his Finally, the Harrier jet swings into view and lands by the side of the school building next to a bicycle rack. Several students run for cover and the velocity of the wind strips one hapless faculty member down to his underwear. While the faculty member is being deprived of his dignity, so now that faculty member is going to be a uh, Pepsi registered drink, sex offender because he goes stripped to his underwear in front of a bunch of children. Words, then appear, Harrier fighter, seven million pounds. Man, points. they really Obviously, put it in the commercial. Then, 7 million points for a Harrier fodder jet. Did a little research and came to the startling conclusion the Pepsi Harrier giveaway was actually an amazing deal at only 7 million points. You see, in 1995, the value of a single Harrier jet was about $33 it's got cheated million, the dollars, give or take a few million, depending on whose estimates you want to or use. Or not cheated the this system. He, he even if every two liter bottle of Pepsi researched the system, realized it was a good deal, and went out and, cans and more, depending on he went out and exploited it. I'm going to be using my webcam to record the rest of these instead of just voicing it over like I did a moment ago. I know I'm not Charlie or Derek from More Plates, More Dates. I have no excuse to use this bad of a camera with no personality to back it up. But to back up what I was about to say, he went out, researched the system, figured out there was a loophole. He saw his way to weasel on in and get this fodder jet for way less than market value. So that's exactly what he did. He went in, exploited the system, did nothing illegal, and he earned his prize that he saw on the commercial. So I guess Pepsi's marketing team back then was just a bunch of cavemen, or they just thought nobody would check their system for any cracks, but oh boy, did this guy, he checked those cracks and... Man, he, he just burst the floodgates wide open and exploited the system to the max. To confirm there were no loopholes here, Leonard got his hands on a Pepsi staff price catalog. While no Harrier jet was listed there, he did notice it stated in the small print that if a person already had 15 Pepsi points, they could purchase an unlimited number of additional points towards any item they wanted for 10 cents apiece. This meant Leonard could effectively purchase the Harrier for a mere $700,000 and wouldn't need to uh -huh. purchase millions of dollars of Pepsi products. Yeah. Do it. So he's getting it for yeah, 700 grand, nature, grand instead of like 7 million. From a financial standpoint. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Leonard never expected to receive the Harrier jet from the Pepsi Corporation using his Pepsi points. He was probably just trying to test the system, see how far he could push the boundaries like a rebellious child. I think his main goal was to just take Pepsi to court and then milk their cash cow for all the money he could get out of it because of their deceptive advertising because a Harrier jet is a very impractical thing to own. Where are you going to store it? The upkeep on it is going to be even more expensive than like a Ferrari or Lamborghini. And it's just, it's not something you can drive to work every day exactly. <laughs> Unless you're trying to live the American dream, you know? Have a tank, have a bunch of guns and a fodder jet on top of that. That's just badass, you know? And so Pepsi it was on a March the 27th military. of the following year, Leonard sent 15 he Pepsi points. He did also call their bluff, with yeah. the words, one Harrier jet written in the item description and a check for $700,000, So it seems like Pepsi are just uh, promising the stuff they can't come through on a lot. Cents. A literal Pepsi military jet. The order, sent a check back with a letter explaining that the Harrier jet was not part of the offer, nor was it included in the prize catalog. And it's on the commercial. The inclusion in the advertisement was merely intended as a fanciful addition 
wishing to make the ad more entertaining. The latter also included a bunch of coupons to apologize. Well, that's false advertising, right? If they put it in there and then the say, oh, you can't really get this prize. The previous year, having managed to convince five unnamed investors to back his little venture. When later asked by the news about why he was so intent on getting a Harrier jet, Leonard explains <laughs> that as a cool. member of the so-called Pepsi generation the company was advertising to, the notion of owning a Harrier jet appealed to him enormously. Of course, with investors involved, it's far more <laughs> Who wouldn't want a Harrier jet, you know? For a large out -of -court That's settlement. just like a Whatever big, the case, big move there. It's like having a tank. Your letter of May 7th, 1996 is totally unacceptable. We have reviewed the videotape of the Pepsi Stuff commercial, and it clearly offers the new Harrier jet for 7 million Pepsi points. Our client followed your rules explicitly. He did? This is a formal demand that you honor It's like, your what is that movie that came out recently? It was based on a true story. It had, uh, what's the guy's name? The man, the guy who plays Walter Watt. It was like something in name and name go large. Let me pull this up. Um, Brian Cranston, that's him. What, what movie was he in recently? It's this movie that's a very similar concept. Jerry and Marge go large. Yeah, I watched this. It's just about these two people. It's based on a true story where they figure out this little, uh, like, they basically do the math and figure out that by playing the lottery a whole bunch of times, they effectively make a whole bunch of money. So that's what they do. They go and they meet Rain Wilson, who plays the, uh, like, the gas station attendant, and they start printing out these tickets. They have a little bit of, of rivalry with these kids at Harvard, but it's pretty much the same concept. They just exploit the system to make a whole bunch of money, and, you know, it's, it's not going against the law because it's the new how the system of the... Clients. Do the thing receive works. transfer instructions and that's what this guy's doing to get a hairier chest the, but they still had to deal with Leonard who sued Pepsi for fraud breach of contract exactly. and deceptive advertising yeah the case you get a buddy through the courts for three years while the court of public opinion was strongly on the side of Leonard and his investors after all the commercial Let me guess, clearly Pepsi stated didn't end up having to give him a hairier jet Pepsi points you could exchange them for a Harrier jet the court that actually had power to issue a ruling was not the issue was finally settled in 1999, with the judge concluding that no objective person could reasonably have concluded that the commercial oh. actually offered consumers a Harrier jet. Well, it's in it the commercial! Leonard's legal team attempted to argue that no judge could accurately determine whether the target audience of the commercial, the Pepsi generation, would or would not conclude that the commercial was Yeah, really how is the judge going to say that noting, you, someone can't judges think this is real? Deciding on That's on Pepsi. Of they shouldn't have put it in the commercial. To whom the they didn't. <laughs> They, they ought to know if someone's offer. crazy enough to, events, to do this and try to the get the Harrier jet if they put it in there. Because that's a cool reward. Out as that's a dope reward. Legally. I do want to play devil's advocate real quickly and say I do understand Pepsi's argument as well. You know, it's an absurd prize. How could one sane human being with a head properly screwed on his shoulders think that we're actually going to give away a Harrier jet? <laughs> Lock this man up. He's clearly crazy. But I still do think Pepsi is very much at fault here because they should have explicitly said in the commercial Harrier Jet cannot be bought with Pepsi points. They shouldn't have put it on there to give anyone false hope like this dude, for example, if he really did think he was going to get a Harrier Jet. Imagine the disappointment when he figure out, figured out he wasn't going to get it. It's like a kid who thought he was going to get a puppy for Christmas, but instead he, he really got the puppy. It was just dead in the box because the parents forgot to poke holes in it. The point I'm trying to make is that if you're going to put something that big in your commercial, like a freaking Harrier jet, like a, a military vehicle, please clearly state that it's not actually available in the contest. Like, even in fine print or something, just at the end of the commercial when they talk really fast, throw it in there somewhere. And then you won't have to go in these legal battles, man. So yeah, I guess that's... Is that all the controversy that Pepsi's been in? They didn't give the guy a Harrier jet and they scammed everybody in the Philippines? That's... Pretty much what we learned from this stream. Uh, Pepsi are a bunch of losers who don't follow through on their own word. That's what we figured out. That's, that, that must be why Pepsi doesn't taste that good. No, they also killed MJ. Not They killed Michael Jackson? Bro, what are you doing, Pepsi? Oh, come on. Pepsi, you naughty little corporation. You naughty little billion dollar corporation.